October 4th, brisk, cool morning. Looks like it's threatening rain. Uh, finishing up in the lower orchard. Uh, this is a John of Gold. It's uh, good tasting this year. They're darker this year than last. And this is a this is a deer apple. It's bad on one side. The other side's good though. Some apples, some apples, a bird gets into it or bugs, and uh, the whole apple goes bad quickly. Um, like a like a Richelieu. Um, but other apples, Dayton's and Honeycrisp and John and Gold, they stay firm as long as they haven't been damaged, you know, right in that spot. Uh, they can be cut and sliced and, and still used except for the bad spot. So I've got Honeycrisp. Pick these out of the lower orchard today. Again, pretty good size, pretty good size apples. And uh, if, once they're washed, they look even prettier. Those little dark blotches on there, I don't know if they show up too well on the camera. Those will wash off, but you don't wash them until you're ready to use them, or I suppose sell them, um, because that bloom on the apple helps protect it. Uh, and just in rubbing it hard, well, sometimes uh, uh, you'll bruise an apple. Probably not a honey crisp, but the more you scrub on it, the, the more you bruise it. So we got the golden russet. These will last until the first hard frost, which we haven't had yet. And they'll turn more of a, a golden yellow than this greenish yellow right now. So these, those can wait right through a hard frost. I should have thinned them. You can see the difference between this size, which is all by itself, and two of them. They get smaller and three yet, you know, they usually got at least one small one. So that should have been thin. Well, we're in the North Orchard today picking the uh, Liberty tree. And this tree here is a John of Gold and, uh, and Cortland. And this one behind me is a few apples of Northwoods Early. So put those separate, Stephen. Okay. What do you do if there's a oh, spot on it or a hole? Secondary battery. Oh, Dad, you're, you're missing your side. You're probably dropping apples. I dropped them off. Okay, if it's a good apple, no blemishes, then we're picking those. If it's got a blemish, um, like a hole, it goes in a secondary basket. And all, all kinds go together in that one. Steven's got it. It says seconds. I call these seconds. It's not so. just honey crisp, it's just seconds. Mm. Uh, Oops. Did you find a ripe one? Yeah. She, yep. she picked this whole branch. Oh, Danae. Set, you set you can't in. throw it in the basket, you have to set it down carefully. That's a second now. <laughs> that one. This one's really got some nice apples on it this year. As you can see, and they're all good size. That limb was pretty heavy. These are coming off really nice. Just a simple lift and twist, and they're snapping right off. October 4th, so first week of October. I think it's a good date for the John of Gold up here. Oops, took the fur off there. Well, these are all same size there. Look at that. Nice size apple. I'm going to try and pull that limb down. Let me get over here. 
Let me do this without knocking the tree over. Put these in the crate, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is John Gold. Is that John Gold? Too? That is, that's Jeff, yeah. Okay, well, let me put them in the bottom here. Okay. Are you having fun today? All these lower branches. I picked up as far as I could reach. Do it. So you're gonna to have to get the rest of these. Wow, up here. those are nice apples. Look at that, Sandy. Wow, wow beautiful. Oh. These are Jonathan's too, you know, right? Yeah. John and Gold. Okay, I'm dropping the crates on us. Steven and Daddy have to get the rest of the tree. Okay. Dad, pick some more from this tree. What thing does it go in? Oh, in the bucket. Let's go in the basket. Look at the deer apple. This here is not a John of Gold. That is a Cortland. Oh, that's a nice apple. Yeah, it is. So this is Cortland, Stephen. Yeah. And that's Cortland. And this one's Cortland. The rest are Cortland, then you say? You know what? I need to mark these. Well, I can tell them now, but I can't tell them in the springtime. So it's like... What are those up there? Hey, Danae. Danae. You like picking apples? <laughs> yeah. Yes, Right. What okay, Steven's doing? doing a taste test of the Northwoods early. Stop it! Oh, on your hands. <coughs> what do you think? On, Little you tart? Go. You're not speaking. A little bit. It took your breath away, huh? Hmm. <laughs> Is it tart? A little bit tart, but it's... I mean, I finished the apple. Here comes Uncle Dean. Will a Dean try it? Carl Woods place up north. I you grafted. placed it? Uh -huh. Gra grafted on No, we got it. Our, so, so you try it. Give me a taste test. Sweet or tart? There's some sweetness and some tartness. Firm or soft? It's not the firmest apple, but it's firm. Does it break when you like bite it, into it? It does. It Breaking like a honey crisp. A little yep, bit. Yeah. It breaks. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, skin thin or thick? Really thin. It's it's got a thin skin. That's a good apple. Thanks, Carl. We're at the Wolf River tree. Sandy's picking this. Normally I can grab two apples with one hand. Like that. Um this is almost impossible without dropping one. That's a big apple. That's a Wolf River. They're all big. Here's a Wolf River. Now my, I got a fat thumb. That, that thumb's a, a good inch wide. One, that's five inches wide. 
Whew. That's a big apple. Uh, it's called a horse apple because it tastes like horse. The uh, Wolf River is a baking apple. It doesn't taste that great. Uh, the flavor comes out after you start cooking. So I ate one and they're good. Man, it's so juicy, especially after they hit the cart on the way down. Um, and they have this flesh that's kind of spider webbed with red a little bit. I got about four good bites out of it and the rest is all mashed. So into the into the deer bucket they go. This over here is the the red quartz. The average size, good three inches. Uh, when these things shine up, they're pretty. Oh, that's, that's a bad one. And uh, here we got our seconds. This is some gala and some red cart. And the Wolf River, those things are big. Whew. Okay, time to go.